Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Poker Science channel. Thank you so much for stopping on by you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed my April Fool's prank. <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and just uh, throw a curveball in there on a start starting off uh, April. A lot of people are posting all those videos you guys and I was thinking about it for several days and I realized I haven't posted videos for a while so it was a perfect opportunity to kind of uh, pretend that this channel is going away but I don't know man. I don't think this channel will go away anytime soon in my opinion. Um, we have a lot to discuss and we have found a team that's done really really well you guys um, for the Great League. I've won eight in a row uh, since Great League has returned. I have not won or I have not lost a single game with this team yet and I was playing with this team uh, the first time Great League came around and I, I don't think I lost a single set playing with this team. I got really comfortable with it. Uh, we're, we're running Shadow Swampert in the lead position right here. We're running Sludge Wave as a secondary move. Uh, I'm also running Talonflame. Talonflame, surprisingly, I have not run into many other Talonflames, I feel. Uh, you know, every once in a while I will, but mostly um, I have not been seeing many because maybe they're getting scared by the Stun Fist, perhaps, or maybe there's a lot of Rock Slide users, Rock throw smackdown users right now um like bastiodon and whatnot so i've been running it with a lot of success you guys um so i'm gonna go ahead and rock uh talon flame as well i've actually had more success in the great league than with ultra and ultra league for talon flame and i'm also running my personal favorite machamp shadow form in the back uh with the new 30 second shot clock <laughs> to swap out uh you can get to a lot of charge moves really really quick um, so you can bleed the clock if you're you know, in an unfavorable matchup and then swap uh, quickly, throw someone off. Um, so this team is really uh, does really well against uh, many uh, other co team comms because it's pretty, it's pretty solid all the way around. So I like it a lot. So before I hop into some battles, go into your, your subscribers about the video, you guys. Every video I like to thank a very special subscriber. And for today, I want to thank Jaden Kim. I've been waiting for a very special video to shout you out, man, because I know you've been a huge supporter of the channel. Jaden watches all my videos. Sometimes um, any videos he misses, he go back in time and go on my channel page and, and find them and watch them. So I appreciate you so much, Jaden. So thank you so much. And this is your subscriber spotlight of the video. Maybe not even the first one. Sometimes I, I double up on these uh, subscriber spotlights. So, so keep on watching you guys because your name may be called next. Um, so yeah, there we go. Shadow Swamper, Talonflame, Shadow Machamp. Eight games in a row. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, we're facing Abrajam. Ha! In game number one, I love that jacket. I, I've been debating getting the Venusaur one for the longest time, and I've accumulated a lot of coins since then. And we get a Shadow Machamp in the lead, which I don't know who wins this, so I'm gonna hang in there though. Um, because I have not, I don't know who wins the the the, the matchup in terms of uh, the Shadow Swamper. I think I guess normal Swamper. I have faced that, you know, opposite because I've been using Shadow a lot. See, I don't think he can counter me down, can he? All right. He might have to throw and he will so hmm this is tricky see i don't know if i can get to the the, the hydro first can we oh we do perfect so let's see if he double shields if he double shields i am going to swap out i think he does all right i'm gonna swap out because he's gonna farm me down otherwise so he has a cross chop at least and now he swaps out oh gosh a little bit of lag there that's no good uh, let's see, let's go ahead and throw off a rock slide. Nerf, uh, Bubble got nerfed, of course, last season, so it's very tough for Azus to farm you down. So there's the first rock slide. They have no more shields, keep that in mind, you guys. So I gotta get to the next one, and we do, perfect. Um, and this will get the Azu very, very low. Very, very low, you guys. So rock slide, yeah, we're gonna, oh man, we almost took it out. Um, Trying to think here. Alright, let's come with Talon Flame. Hopefully they don't have a charge move. They do. Rats. We were that close, you guys. Um, trying to think here. Let's let it go. We gotta watch out for the rock side on the Machamp, right? So, ooh, Machamp coming in, throwing. I know the rock side, there's no need to throw a cross chop here because they're not gonna get to a rock side and a cross chop. So we're gonna get some energy right now. Farming down this Machamp since they swapped. Let's gotta watch out for the Azu trying to catch. See what they have in the back. It's all depending on what they have in the back, right? Uh, they're waiting out the switch clock <laughs> wisely. So let's see. Oh, it's a Galvantula. Let's throw. Oh gosh, overcharge. 
okay, we still got it, you guys. We still got it. And the Azu has one hit point on it. <laughs> so, wow. How about that, you guys? So, night, night, sleep tight to the Galvantula. We're going to do one incinerate. And down goes the Azu, you guys. That Shadow Machamp put in a lot of work right there. It, um, the opposing Shadow Machamp got it pretty darn low. But it still hung in there because it's very hard to take out Machamp if you don't have a hard, heavy hitting fast move. And two Rock Slides and maybe one more counter would have taken out the, the Azu. So, awesome, awesome. So we're going to keep on rolling along here. Doing really well with this team. Very, very spammy as you see. Um, this does a lot of damage. If I can grab shield advantage early, it's huge, you guys. Facing lighting something. I couldn't, I didn't catch it. Did it say lighting bird? Swamp bird versus talent flame. Okay, there's a talent flame I haven't seen. All right, see if they swap out. Nope, they hang in here. Probably get some energy for swapping out. And in comes the vigor off. All right. In comes my shadow machamp. All right, they're gonna go ahead and throw their energy right now. Gotta shield their Shadow Machamp. Even a Body Slam will do a lot. I don't know if I can farm it down though, but I'm gonna try just for a little bit. Can I farm it down? No, I don't think I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw a Cross Chop here. See if I can take it out. I would love to keep the Swampert on the Talonflame. Talonflame versus Talonflame wouldn't be terrible either, but if I had a choice, right? So let's see, the Talonflame comes back in. I have a little bit excess energy, so they probably will have to throw. Oh, let's get off a of rock slide though. All right, they're gonna have to shield this, right? I would think. Oh, they have loaded energy. That's the only thing that scares me. So in comes the Talon Flame. I'm gonna throw the Hydro right away. I hope it's a CMP. I don't know if it is, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and save my shield though. And hopefully, it can't. Hopefully, he can't uh, swap out either. Because I'm really hoping it's. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, I thought it was a CMP, perhaps. So we're going to unfortunately throw this on the Meganium. But the nice thing is that um, I think our Switch Clock is almost up. So we can maybe get the, let's see, can we at least get, let's throw a Hydro. Let's kill some Clock. Gosh, that, that was quite unfortunate. I should have thrown the Hydro a little bit earlier. Um, let's see, we've got to get the Talon Flame in here now. What we'll resist everything the Meganium has, right? Ooh, some laggy. All right. Hopefully this lag doesn't allow my opponent to swap out. <laughs> so in comes my Talon Flame now. I'm gonna go ahead and work on farming it. Oh no, they're lagging too, and I feel bad. Unless they were letting me go. Uh, unless they were letting it go on purpose. That's weird. I think their Talon Flame still has a little bit of energy. Um, let's see. This would have been a very close game. Gosh, poor guy. I think he now he's moving. I think. So let's go ahead and get off our uh, flame charge. Even if they don't shield, they'll still do a decent amount of damage, I think. We just got to get this guy low enough that we can just... Yeah, more lag. Gosh. But I definitely think this lag hit my opponent way more than it hit me, of course. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we, we just got to go straight flame charge now, right? So let's go ahead and throw off another flame charge. Our attacks increase. We still have a shield. Um, so we don't have to worry about... And they don't, <laughs> they don't have any more Pokemon. So they can't go Brave Bird and lower their defense. Because Swampert and Machamp are still alive, technically, so... So, but I'm gonna go ahead and shield whatever's next anyways. Um... I should, shouldn't I? And then Machamp hopefully can farm it down. Oh gosh, I actually didn't shield. Oh, didn't I? Didn't I? Oh gosh, now I switch into Machamp. And what happened? Oh, he just backed out. <laughs> I actually meant to not shield that, that, that Flame Charge, I think. Because I don't think a Brave Bird takes me out, does it, in that range? Without the flame charge boost? I don't know. I don't think it does. Anyways, off to the next game. All right. So this is actually the last game of this set. But uh, after this this game, we're going to go ahead and play some more. So we've won 10 in a row with this team right now. Uh, Mr. Juan Skills or SK. All right. Let's see. Let's see what Juan has. Juan on Juan. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. All right. We'll get Wiggly here. Oh gosh, there's a lag. So I, I'm getting on my end too, apparently. Yeah, this is dangerous against a Charmer. Okay, Meganium again. Hello, Meganium. Nice to see ya. All right, let's go ahead and throw our Flame Charge as soon as we get it. Uh, I'm not going to shield anything. We'll double resist both. They're not, no, well, single resist the Earthquakes, which is what people should be throwing. I've been seeing people throw um, Frenzy Plants. 
which is uh it's you know requires less energy but it's double resisted you guys so i think earthquake is actually a little more efficient oh gosh they let it go and this is going to allow us to farm up and they're going to swap into their their oh man that's not the guy i wanted to see <laughs> let's go ahead and th throw a flame charge did i throw a flame charge or brave bird okay do a flame charge so they got to expect this to be a a brave bird and probably shield this since i already boosted my attack all right i'm gonna switch into my machamp now the reason I'm switching to Machamp is because I want to get off the Rock Slide mostly. I need to get the Rock Slide off. So I wonder if they're going to double shield their Altaria. So Altaria is, is my least favorite Pokemon to see with this team. So now they swap out. Oh gosh, we've got to throw the Cross Shot to kill some Clock here. Ugh, this is very, very risky. Then after this, do I come in back in with the Talon Flame if I can, if I can kill the Clock? Ooh. Oh gosh, what happened there? That was quite unfortunate, wasn't it? Um, gosh, that was quite unfortunate. All right, let's see. Can we not get Charm down, please? Oh gosh, they're gonna throw off a charge move here. Yeah, I think this will be it. <laughs> the Altaria, we have, no, we have no answer to. They're gonna throw off the Ice Beam. Oh gosh, we did throw off a charge move. So, mm, yeah, I think this is it, you guys. This gotta be it. Yeah, yeah, there's no way. They still have the shield. And we're going to throw off the Hydro. If we can get to another Sludge Wave, because I don't remember how much energy that Altaria has. Has it even thrown a move yet? I can't remember. I guess maybe one against the Machamp, right? Oh gosh. Oh man, I forgot about the Meganium. Oh man, if they didn't have the Meganium, we could have Sludge Wave the homie. <laughs> we could have Sludge Wave the guy, gosh. But we can't now. <laughs> So very unfortunate. Oh gosh, yeah, what's with that weird lag? I don't know what's going on now. So I, I was lagging last game. I mean, my opponent was lagging last game. This game, I'm lagging. All right, so our 10 game win streak gets snapped, but still 10 in a row is pretty darn impressive with this team. And Altaria really is the only Pokemon that comes to mind that I think this team really struggles against. Some people might consider an Azu in the back being a difficult Pokemon to see as well uh, for the late game. Um, but I'm actually not too concerned about it because uh, a lot of uh, Azus are running Ice Beam and Play Rough, and if that's the case, then Talonflame is actually in an okay spot. Um, because I can, you know, with the 30 second Switch Clock, I can kind of get get off those uh, Brave Birds. I can, uh, ooh, let me get, make sure I get Peanut on this. And then we saw in that first game, right, with the Shadow Machamp, pretty much taking out the Azu um, with, with an energy advantage. Um, just Rock Slide just do so much. So yeah, we're keeping on... We're grinding up, you guys. I've been playing the season very slow because I've been busy with work. So when I was doing that April Fool's prank, I actually wasn't completely lying. I do have a lot of work. <laughs> so that is why I have not been posting as much as I have posted in previous seasons. Facing Yuki Mora Trainer, a rank 18 battler here. So yeah, I'm trying my best to just get my ELO as soon as I can. And then from there, I'm going to try to grind up even more and get uh, Ninetales here, which uh, this is an okay lead, I think. Let me see, let's just hang in here. Um, oh yeah, more lag, you guys. And against the Charmers too, those are so dangerous to lag against a Charmer because they can get like two or three free charms. That's huge, you guys. Two or three free charms is almost equivalent to like, uh, oh gosh, gotta get off the Hydro now. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get the Sludge Wave. Hopefully I, I farmed up enough to at least make him feel like this could be a Sludge Wave. Yeah, well, at least he, he didn't. Uh, I'm going to swap. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is a weird thing. It's like they, I keep on going down so fast that I'm not seeing the, the swap there. So come with our Incinerate Talonflame. And it, the game freezes right before I was about to take it out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this go. Weather Ball or Psy Shock. Oh, gosh. I forgot about that move, but it's fine. Didn't do too much, I guess. So we lose Switch, but we have Shield Advantage. And what they have in the back? Umbreon. Okay. Let's come over my Machamp right away see what that oh there's that altaria oh no they have a dragonite okay well they're gonna have to um use a shield here right right so we're getting them that's a that's a shadow is that shadow dragonite it is wow interesting because i was like is my counters really doing that much um hmm, and then you have the umbreon in the back oh man this is gonna be tough all right, let's click on the flame charge. Ah, flame charge. 
Okay. <laughs> so I gotta go one more flame charge and one and one more brave bird. Would that be enough to take out the Umbreon, you guys think? So I mean this is enough to take out the Dragon Knight now. Okay, fine. Right, let's go flame charge right away. Oh gosh, they're gonna throw. We got a shield. We gotta beat it to the next charge move too. So I don't know, you guys. I really don't know. So we're gonna go, go flame charge right now. They snuck in a fast move, which is lovely. So let's see. Can we get to that brave bird? That's all we need. We need one, two. No, we can't. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> we tried, you guys. So let's, let's let's go ahead and let my opponent take us out. Yeah, that was a charmer in the lead once again. It's very very dangerous, especially when there's a little bit of lag here and there. It's just it throws you off because I feel like there was like an extra one or two charm, which and we 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 were able to get them to shield the hydro at the beginning too. So if we could have gone to the sludge wave on the second try, then it would have been a completely different game. Um, so, let's, oh, well, whatever. Can't dwell on the past, so let's keep on rolling with this team. I'm going to keep on running this team for Great League, you guys. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it does really well, super spammy. Uh, definitely kind of... You can maneuver around bad leads for sure with this team. Barian Squad. And this team has double counters to Bastiodon, double counters to uh, to uh, to good old... Um, what's his face? Uh, Stunfisk. So yeah, more lag, you guys, see? And in comes their Meganium again. Wow, so many Meganiums. Yeah, but the lag is killing me right now. So they're gonna throw off another Earthquake. I, <laughs> I, I, would, uh, I would assume, but a lot of people have been throwing Frenzies for some reason. Yeah, like this, this gentleman. So Switch Clock, gotta keep an eye on it. Uh, we swap pretty close to each other, so um, not too worried about that. And once again, my opponent kind of swapped out when they didn't really need to. So the Meganium Shields, which is okay with me. And in comes their Toxic Croak again. I'm going to just throw the Flame Charge. I'm vamped up once already. The, the Mud Bombs won't hurt us. Uh, we got to watch out for Sludge Bomb, but they already used one shield. And Night Knight Sleep Tight to the Toxic Croak. Let's see what they have in the back. Oh, GG's. GG's, you guys. <laughs> awesome, you guys. So... Overall, we're, we went 11 and 2 this time around. We went 10 in a row at one point, and last season, or earlier this season, I should say, uh, we did really, really well with this team. So I would highly recommend this team to anyone out there. Uh, assuming you can get your hands on all these three Pokemon, because I've been running this team for like several sets already, and I haven't lost a single one. Um, so. There you go, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I appreciate it so much. If you're new to the channel, please consider dropping a like, comment, subscribe to the Poker Science channel. I appreciate it so darn much. And thank you once again. Hopefully everyone out there have an amazing weekend. Take care.